This is Brian Tama at the Action Beach. Welcome, Brian. This is Action Man of the Action Shop in Seven Sands. Tell me about your first memories of the sea. Yeah, so um, first memories of the sea, um, I was um, about five, six, and I was up by Crane Beach with my father, and we went body surfing on the waves up there, and it was a beautiful day, and all I remember was catching the waves on my father's back, and that was my first real experience, really experiencing the waves and the ocean, and this, what Barbados really has to have, the beauty of Barbados. Riding the waves on my father's back, I realized from a very young age that um, the ocean would be part of, of my life, and that I love the water, and and that is around six, six, five is, I wanted that to be my lifestyle. I wanted to be in the water all the time. So when did you learn to surf on your own? So first of all, I started um, body surfing on my belly. First my father's back, then I started body surfing on a piece of wood. Then, then I went to the surfboard. So I started surfing around nine, ten. And um, from that experience, um, I really realized that the ocean would be a, a dominant part of my life. And there I realized that the dream started and I, I wanted the ocean, I want to get paid to play. And that is to do whatever I do in the sea, is to make it a livelihood. And um, I was really fortunate that, um, that I took a big chance, um, that everything was around the sea. Like I, went, I went to school here in Barbados, a large school, great experience, then I went to presentation. But I was having a really um, hard time with school because I was dyslexic. But being dyslexic, I always say it's like, um, having a present but you just know, have to know how to unwrap it and I thought I unwrapped it the best that I could ever want to re unwrap it because my dream was to get paid to play to wear baggies and flip-flops and go to work and um, I went to college and when I went to college you know my parents gave me that that opportunity to go to college I went to the US for four years graduate business administration but at college every aspect of my education I I targeted towards windsurfing, surfing, and this lifestyle. So if I did entrepreneur, I pretended I had a shop. If I did marketing, I was marketing some windsurfing sales. So everything was focused on um, windsurfing and the beach culture. And when I returned to Barbados, this is um, in the 80s, I decided that I was gonna work on the beach. Now, nowadays, working on the beach is a very prestigious and very cool job to work. But at that time, I was considered a beach bum, but I loved it because there was no competition. I had at least 10 years to 20 years of nobody because everybody thought it was not a serious job. But at the same time, when I opened my shop, I also became a professional windsurfer. Because um, what happened, I went to the Olympics in 1988, came back, opened my shop, and for some reason, a sponsor came to me called Irie Blue. They were now launching a line. They wanted me to help consult for them and to market their product. And they sponsored me in 1988. And from that year, I went on the professional windsurfing tour. And I could say the dream was fulfilled. To get paid to play, to travel the world, to have sponsors that paid for everything, to have airline sponsors. And as I say, um, it was natural. There was no Facebook. There was no social media to tell you what was cool. I was just doing it, living my life, traveling the world, coming back to Barbados, running the shop, and roll in the action. What was the Olympic experience like? So I did two Olympics, 1988, which is so cool. I did really good there. I was really happy in my performance because we had really strong wins, which everybody was not really prepared for, and I did really well. Um, that the Seoul Olympics was my best experience because at that time um, the Olympics wasn't so commercial. You know, you went there. I, I did my Olympics and went surfing. I went and checked all the different sports. The whole experience was amazing. Then I went to do um, 19. 92 in Barcelona at that time things had got a lot more complicated and at that time I'd been on tour for, for four years I came third in the night um, the Hawaiian breakout in 1991 so that was the biggest wave event in the world professionally so by 92 I was rolling and it was really good and life upon earth life was singing what young Barbadians do you see as our next water sports Olympics champions the great thing nowadays that um, with the beach culture and surfing, wind surfing, kite surfing, it's now really a dominant part of our culture and, and there are a lot of young um, teenagers that are, are really pushing hard to go professional. I think Chelsea Tua definitely is one of the number one female um, surfers that I believe that will become professional. 
They have the Burt brothers that are doing tremendously good in the surfing. So in the surfing domain, there's a lot of really good surfers that, uh, that I believe will become professional, rep who are representing Barbies and will crank the action. Which sport in inspires you more? Like surfing and surfing or surfing? So um, I'm a water man. What, that, what a water man means is a person that does all sports. I do windsurfing, kite surfing, paddle surfing, and surfing. Um, it's really, I will have to say windsurfing. Windsurfing has, been, has given me this dream. When I say dream, is getting paid to play, travel the world. This was the, the, the fire that allowed me to live this lifestyle. By the same token, I love kite surfing, I love paddle surfing, I love surfing. But windsurfing is the ultimate. Windsurfing allowed me to create, to feed my family, to, to travel the world, to do the Olympics. So I never forget windsurfing. Although paddle surfing really gave my career longevity. So I got like 10 more years of paddle surfing. So I have to go next to paddle surfing. But surfing was the one that I started with. So there's all these different angles of, of sports, but what I always tell people is best to do all sports. Because when I come to the action beach, I look out in the water, like today is good for kite surfing. So I kite surf, I come to the beach, and it's good for surfing, I will surf. So I really let elements determine what sport I wish to do.